It's eight o'clock in the morning on the 19th of March. This is to do, it's a follow on from last night's video of Mars. This is those pesky aspects from Venus to Pluto. The minor aspects, the semi-square, for example, from Venus to Pluto, that's kind of like a baby progenitor of greed. There's a sense of um, never having enough, or no matter how much you've got, you've never got enough. Always wanting more for some obscure reason. It's not to do with inferiority. It's just to do with um, um, if there's more out there, I want it. And, and it's something to do with um, having control of the flow of power rather than having possessions for semi-square. With the quintile from Venus to Pluto, here we do see those people who somehow can link in with that higher vibe and get into their psyche in a way that um, evokes and produces quality music. Venus quintile Pluto is the refined artist, the refined musician, those who hit those subtle notes that get you right down into the very corner of your gut. Venus in conjunct Pluto. It's the kind of, um, it's the thing that leaves you high and dry. It's sultry, it's alluring and dangerous. And if you have Venus in conjunct Pluto in your chart, you're always going to be aware, you need to be aware of the reasons why you're going for what you're going and whom you're attracted to and why you're attracted and also vice versa. Why are the people that are attracted to you or why other things or people are drawn towards you? And if there's in the um, it's the difference between, I think, um, wants and desires with the in conjunction. Now, with the main aspects, Venus sextile Pluto in as an individual's chart it great it's great it creates a kind of um, a dark humorous acceptance of oneself in terms of well you can't you know you, you know yourself quite well you're not scared of the psychological depths and darkness of the caves within us all. Venus sextile Pluto in sinistry, when one person's Venus sextiles another person's Pluto. Hey, now there you find that two people will naturally be drawn towards each other because they both sense a much deeper, more innate, more profound, more emotive and evocative emotional bond that goes well beyond words. Venus square Pluto in an individual's chart. I want and I'll kill to get it. Um, I want food, I want money, I want sex, I want power, I want it all, and um, what else you got that I can have? And it's not that that it's greedy, because it's not, and I'm being deliberately provocative with this. It also brings the capacity to strive, the best ascetics, the best nuns have got this aspect, the best monks, because they give it all up, they don't want anything, because they are aware of the temptations of power and materialism. Venus square Pluto in sinistry is really one of the very hardest of aspects to deal with. It is as if both partners will, uh, both partners may be perfectly stayed, and yet in each other they arise, they, they, they arouse the, the, the biggest degenerate possible. This is what Pluto Venus can do to each other. It can really open up caverns that many people would rather leave closed. However, if you're feeling adventurous, and you're not scared of yourself and what might be there, then go in there. Venus trine Pluto, love it. You can't really beat that. It's harmonious, it's generally easy, and it creates a natural innate flow in the individual with this aspect, who's uh, someone who's got the capacity for know, integration of one's senses, one's feelings and emotions with one's psychological depths. So, so quite a profound, sensual person who knows what has value and worth. In sinistry, Venus, Pluto, Trine is people who complement each other in terms of appreciation and enjoyment and value system management. Venus opposite Pluto, like Mars opposite Pluto, the devil made me do it. But whereas Mars opposite Pluto says, I didn't mean to do it, it was just impulsive. Venus opposite Pluto will sit there and bat her eyelids at you and go, oh, you wouldn't dare. 
And at that point, you think, that's it, rationality and sanity goes out the window and caveman stroke women antics come into play. But not always with Venus Pluto, because it does a lot of good pouting and it's very sultry and it's very suggestive. But when it comes to the real deal, hmm, very sensitive, needs handling with care, preferably in a darkened room with some nice smells and lots and lots and lots of reassuring hugs and cuddles. And then there's Venus conjunct Pluto. In an individual's chart, Venus conjunct Pluto, you're not going to take light, you're not going to take prisoners when it comes to relationships. You don't do lightweights or wimps, but neither do you vampires or, or manipulators or, or control freaks. You need someone who's strong enough to say no to you occasionally, but also who's um, got their own psychological strength as well, who's got their own value system sorted. And when one person's Venus is on another person's Pluto, Hey, the signals start about two inches below the navel and then they head south fast. The only time I occasionally stop to take a break is if the mouth gets involved in food. And Venus conjunct Pluto can be the most sensually appreciative of combinations in two people. It can also be the most corrupted, twisted and sordid of a lot, but it will be done with humour and without violence or aggression because Venus and Pluto is not essentially projective it's much more receptive there you go folks venus pluto in compliment to mars pluto catch you later bye